I'm Majesku of Majesku.com, and today we're going to talk a little bit about using medium with oil paint. Today we are going to be demoing um, three different mediums that you would use with oil paint. Um, we have Liquid Original and Liquid Fine Detail and Dan Smith Painting Medium. Now these are all accelerant mediums. They're all of the same general type of, of medium that you would use. There are many other things that you could use as mediums with your oil paint. Um, probably the first that you'd think of would be linseed oil. That's what's actually mixed in the paint tube um, with your pigment. It's um, the vehicle that kind of spreads around the, the pigment particles. And um, I don't like to use linseed oil to paint with. Um, if you might like to do that if you painted wet in wet and wanted your painting to stay wet for weeks and weeks and uh, keep painting into it forever and ever and ever. But um, I don't paint that way. So we're going to look at accelerant mediums, which help your paint dry a lot faster and are very useful. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just dump a little bit of our liquid original right out on the palette. And uh, I might get some fine detail. Oh man, I'm going to spill this. Maybe I'll, yeah. <sighs> we go. Just a little bit. Don't need too much. And oh, this is a brand new tube, so it's got a little bit of liquid coming out the top there. Doesn't normally look like that. All right, and then let's pick a color. I like Mars Violet. You can just get a little bit of paint on our palette. And um, so when you're painting, you can take your brush and put paint directly on your canvas, but you will notice that that is very dry and doesn't spread around very well because while there is some linseed oil in there, it's... Um, there's not a lot, it's just very dense, and you would need a whole lot of paint to really just pile on and get any coverage. So that's where it's going to be very useful to be able to pick up a little bit medium and spread it around. So you can see that that gets immediately much smoother to work with. And this is very thin. This is an example of you could use it thinly to glaze with. Um, you could do more paint, less medium, and get a nice thick coverage like that. And that really just helps it push along. So as I'm doing this, you might be wondering why I'm not mixing them together since I'm going to be using the paint and the medium both together and if I have nice good coverage that I like, why I wouldn't just make one nice happy family of half medium, half paint and um, keep that going. The answer is that although there is already linseed oil in the paint, the big difference between these types of mediums and um, uh, 
longer, uh, longer drying time medium like linseed oil is that, uh, well, these will dry. They will dry out your paint. And right now, uh, this paint could sit here and still be wet tomorrow, and um, I could get out some new medium and go right back into this paint. And so there's absolutely no reason to ruin a perfectly good little uh, supply of paint there. Also, I might want to adjust the amount of medium that I'm using. So I could move between thick coverage and a glaze um, kind of effect. I could thin out my color. Um, I could uh, cover some area maybe with just a little bit of medium to um, facilitate blending um, and just kind of gives you a little more uh, flexibility in, in what you're going to do and you don't lock yourself down with just one big, big mess of liquid that only can do one thing. So you'll notice, just looking at the palette, that the three different mediums are visually quite different. Um, so one of the things that I should mention is that the liquid um, does make a third type, at, at least a third type, they may have more, uh, besides the original and the fine detail. And it, the third type is a lot stiffer, it comes in a tube. Um, like the Dan Smith does, but it's it's not nearly as liquid as this. It's much, much thicker, and it's best for um, impasto techniques where you might use uh, like a palette knife to actually lay on your paint or um, much thicker brushes or you know, other other implements. Um, I don't paint that way, and I've, I've never used that medium, but that is an option for you if you're interested in those kinds of techniques. Um, sorry, I keep bumping the table here. And uh, so the Liquin is kind of a, a nice medium, the Liquin Original. Um, it's, it's a nice uh, in-between, between the, the stiff one and um, the fine detail. Uh, it goes on pretty smooth, as we've seen. It uh, accelerates drying time so that you can paint and then overnight your painting will dry most of the time. Um, it might take a little bit longer if you painted very, very thickly or you're using a paint that um, has a longer drying time. Some pigments do take a little bit longer. Um, but uh, most of the time, if you're painting just like a, a regular or a thin layer and uh, you don't live in a very, very cold place, overnight your, your surface painting will dry down and be ready to paint on tomorrow, which is great um, to have that. Um, so this is nice to use for that. And um, the fine detail is great for painting really smoothly. You can see as I pick it up here, um, that's kind of a lot, it, you can glaze really nicely with it. It lays really evenly. The brush strokes are less visible. Um, if we get a little bit more paint, get some better coverage with it, uh, you can see that compared to the original, there's just maybe a little bit smoother application. And uh, it's really great for glazing techniques. Also, it dries a little bit faster. So if you're going to do just layer upon layer of very thin glazes. This is probably the medium for you. You can get many, probably multiple layers in the same day. Um, if you're trying to really make some progress in your painting, you can. 
And then our third medium is the Daniel Smith painting medium. Now it does come in a tube like the impasto medium, the liquid that I talked about earlier, which may lead you to believe that it is a little bit stiffer. You can see that it stands up a little bit, it's, um, but it's actually quite soft. And this is actually the medium that I use for all of my painting. Um, I have the other two here because I, I used to use a lot of liquid original and occasionally it will be necessary to use the fine detail if I need to do a lot of layering really quickly and really do a lot of uh, quick progress on a painting and where I need to get a couple layers in on the same day because it does dry a lot faster if you're painting very thinly. Um, but the Dan Smith painting medium is totally my favorite. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and plug that for them. Uh, I promise they're not paying me anything, though uh, if anyone from Daniel Smith is listening, you are more than welcome to pay me something for that because um, I love your store and I like to buy things there. Uh, if we uh, take a little, let clean this off this brush, and um, take a little bit of paint and take a little bit of our medium here, kind of avoid the the extra juice that came out because it was a fresh bottle because that's not going to be a good representation of what it's actually like to work with this medium. And then uh, you can just apply over here and it's a little bit thin right now. Um, just kind of has this nice even quality as I'm laying it down. And if I get a lot more paint here, you can see. I just realized that I'm applying this really counterintuitively. Oh, I have a chunk there uh, with the mediums kind of not lining up with how I'm putting them on the canvas. So sorry about that if anyone's confused by where these are. Um, I'm keeping you on your toes today. So you can see that this is just really nice. I love this medium. Um, it's not like gonna make or break it. Like if you like liquid, that's fine. It's, it's not terrible to work with. One thing I've noticed personally is that um, when a painting is finished, if you've painted on it in multiple sessions, especially if it's larger and you've painted maybe on the left side more recently than you painted on the right side or you added some to this arm like at the last minute and you didn't go over it um, with a varnish or uh, sometimes people will do layers of just medium on, on the surface and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Um, but sometimes if you look at it under the right lighting or from the side, you'll notice that the reflective quality uh, on the dry painting can vary depending on how much medium was in the paint. So if you have a lot of medium, it's going to be shinier. Um, this liquid fine detail is going to dry the shiniest of all three. It's going to be really glossy, so that can be a nice effect. Um, it's going to look a little more like having a varnish on top. Um, and then the more you use, the more it's going to look like that. Um, one of the things that I have noticed, and I don't know if anyone else finds this to be true, but just from my personal experience, Paintings finished with liquid, I have noticed that more often I can see differences in amount of medium used in the paint on the final product, where it's a little shinier in one place and a little more matte in another. Uh, one of the reasons that I love to paint with the Daniel Smith medium is that I don't see that on the finished product in my work. Um, Maybe uh, it just has to do with the level of consistency that I um, use in my paint. Maybe I'm just really consistent with medium usage over other people. Probably that is not the case. Um, I, I think it's just 
maybe a property of, of this particular medium and it's, it's a thing that I like about it. So that is all we have about painting mediums today. Um, I do think I mentioned something about putting a, a whole layer, <laughs> a whole layer of uh, painting medium on the, the end of a painting, on the, on the final layer. Um, but that's probably a better topic for another video. So if you would like to see that video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and uh, you will be notified when that one comes out. Um, also like this video, subscribe to this channel, uh, share with your friends because sharing is caring. There are going to be some links down in the bottom over there or possibly on the sides. I'm not really sure where those things end up these days. Um, and uh, there are going to be links to affiliates and also these lovely products that we featured today, which we have right here. Um, also a link to my website, which is magiskew.com. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.